video, I'm going to show you how to take the wording out of this taco and then how to bridge it in Design Space. This is kind of a quick cheat if you are using a touch screen for doing bridges instead of placing all of the rectangles. You can use this trick I'm about to show you. So first thing we're going to do is get rid of everything except the tan center because we won't need any of these toppings. Delete those. Just this piece we'll be using. And that piece we need to weld, so we're going to choose Actions and Weld. And then we're going to cut that out of the middle there. So we're going to bring in a circle. Actually, let's see. What do I'm going to just cut this piece out of the middle here and not even uh, address the circles here. If you want to use the circles, then you can check out the video I did just before this that shows a two-part for this. I'm going to use a rectangle. So we're just going to use shapes to get this wording out of here. And we just need to cover up the wording without covering up any of the circles because we don't want those. We're just, just trying to cover up the wording so that we can cut it out of here. Uh, let's get... What shape do we want now? Let's try a pentagon over here. I'm going to want to unlock the corner so that we can distort that. And then I'm just going to duplicate that one. And move it over a little bit. So we're just placing a bunch of random shapes. It really doesn't matter what shape you use. We're just trying not to touch the uh, circles. So there's another one. Now all of the circles are still perfectly visible. None of them are being touched by our shapes. So we're going to come over to the layers panel and just grab all of those shapes that we've just placed and weld them together. Then we'll choose our welded shape along with our tan piece and slice that out. So that's going to give us, you can see the cut lines there, that gives us our wording. Get rid of all of this. So we just have a few pieces to cut out here. Shapes. I'm going to get a rectangle. And then just bring that down here. We'll go ahead and slice that. So I just went ahead and chose both pieces and we'll slice. We're going to need a couple more shapes, but get rid of that. Now I'll use a triangle to get rid of these other two pieces. So let's bring in a triangle, place that over here. Oh, I see there's a third piece there also. We'll duplicate that two times. Go to Actions and Duplicate twice. I'll use this other one up here. And you can distort that as you see when you unlock that corner. Bring that down just a bit. That looks good. All right, so we're going to do the same thing here. Grab our three triangles, weld those together. And then in the layers panel, grab your triangles and your wording and slice. Now. All of these pieces are trash, and we have just the wording. So this one, um, oh, I see a tiny speck right up here that we need to get rid of also. Shapes, we'll just pop a circle over the top of that. And then grab our I do, and actions, slice. We'll draw a box around that and get rid of all those pieces. There we go. So, um, this, as I pulled it in, uh, wasn't available. The hide contour was not available 
with the full image. Otherwise, you could have just hidden contours to get to this, but it wasn't available originally as it is right now on the iPad. So, what you can do, get your box off of it, and now you're going to take a screenshot of this, and we're going to go ahead and just cut that off, and done, save to photos, then we're going to go down here at the bottom left, choose upload, and we're going to, oop, not take a photo, cancel, upload, select from photo library, and we're going to grab that picture, and remove on the bottom left, choose the remove tool, remove that background, remove the middle of each of these letters, And then, depending on how small you were making this, you could leave the center of your S. I'm going to ignore that one for just a minute. We'll do that last. Get rid of the D and the middle of the O. There's several ways to go about this. So, now we're going to use the eraser tool for just a minute. Actually, let me, I'm going to go ahead into the bottom of this S. I'm going to get rid of that. Get rid of the top of that S. So now as you can see in the preview, all of those pieces, all the little dark spots have been gotten. Oop, not that one. I'm going to zoom in a little bit there. Get this middle one. So if you look at this preview on the left, you can see all those centers have been fixed. We're going to use the erase tool. I'm going to make it much smaller. And if you wanted to, you can Zoom in here. See how big that is? Go as small as it'll go. You can come through here with your eraser tool. This is the beauty of touch screen. And you can simply erase this. And if you wanted to round it, you can round it. Whatever shape you want to make that D. I'm not going to mess with making it perfect right now, but you could spend some time and play with that, make it as perfect as you like. Same thing with the center of this O. If you want to make it a little bit bigger, take this off of here, and you can make that nice and smooth with your eraser. Take out the middle of that. You could take off this outer edge. And again, I'm not going to spend a ton of time making it perfect right now. Then you would simply, instead of having to place, well, let me undo that one. I'm going to make that smaller. Instead of having to place all the bridges with the triangle or rectangles, you could just draw a line through there and draw a line through there so that you can place that bridge. And now you could cut that on plastic. You'd have to do that with each of these, of course. So maybe you went right there in the O. You'd also need it in the R. I suggest going up close to where things hook together instead of, for instance, like putting it, you know, out here. Undo that one. And the A in tacos. You can either bring a couple of breaks over here. I'm going to undo those. You could bring your break here. You just want to make sure they're nice and clean. And then you same here with this taco. You could leave that connection in. You could simply make the breaks and leave that line through the middle of it. This S, this is going to be small depending on how big you're making your stencil. So I personally would probably just smooth that edge off there. And then maybe put a break here. So that would be a quick and easy way to do your bridges. Uh, let's say next. Next, we're going to pretend that that was all perfect and that we took the time to make it perfect. Tacos. Tacos. So we're going to save that. And then insert that into the project. And it would be ready to attach when it comes up. There we go, I do it for the tacos. So then you would just simply go down to edit, 
size this, let's say again, say we wanted it to be three. Oop, forgot to lock that corner again. That's going to get me. Lock and make this three inches. And then you would bring in a square shape and you would do that for either of these. Either one of these, both of these, you would do the same thing right here. You would bring in a square edit. Let's say 5.5 for this plastic over here. And I'm going to change the color to white. Arrange and bring that tacos to the front. Draw a box around that, align, center, and then go to actions and attach. So that would be ready to cut out on plastic. This would be ready to cut out on um, HTV or adhesive, whatever you're using to make a silk screen. You would just simply attach it to your square and it would be ready to go. If you have any questions, place them in the comments.